This is iPhone 11, the next generation of iPhone, and it is jam-packed with great new capabilities and an incredible new design. iPhone 11 comes in six new colors with an all-new purple, white, yellow, green, black, and product red. We have an amazing dual camera system with an all-new wide camera, with a new sensor, with 100% focus pixels for faster autofocus, three times faster in low light. And we have a new ultra-wide camera with a 120-degree field of view. This will let you capture way more in your photos and videos. Because now you can take a wide camera shot like this, but switch to the ultra-wide to reveal the scale. <laughs> yes. This is doing an optical zoom out 2x, so you can capture way more without moving. So now, when you're taking a wide camera shot, you'll see our new immersive camera interface that lets you see outside the frame, hinting at a bigger shot. Then you can simply tap to switch to the ultra-wide, revealing more of your scene. We also wanted to make it easier for you to take a quick video with quick take. So now, when you're taking photos and you decide you want to take a quick video, simply tap and hold the shutter button to record a video. So video really shines on iPhone 11. In fact, it has the highest quality video ever in a smartphone. iPhone 11 offers so much meaningful innovation, and we want even more people to experience it. So we're really excited to offer iPhone 11 at just $6.99. <laughs> So while you've been paying attention to 2020, it might surprise you to know that 2018 isn't over yet. That all ends today with a high drama special election in North Carolina's 9th. And this story's got everything. Backroom deals, son turning against fathers, even a shady political operative who almost took his secrets to the grave. And the stakes couldn't be higher. Just ask President Trump, who parachuted into the district last night to throw reinforcements behind Republican Dan Bishop while accusing Democrats of being, quote, not big believers in religion. Bishop's opponents, Democrat Dan McCready, is a Marine and small business owner, and yet he's being painted as a radical socialist. And that tells you a lot about the campaign Republicans are planning to run in 2020. But first, a little backstory. So Trump won the ninth by almost 20 points. It's a safe Republican seat by design, a classic example of the rigged system of redistricting in which politicians choose their voters instead of the other way around. But apparently it wasn't quite rigged hard enough because when this guy... Republican Mark Harris perished to eke out a tiny victory over McCready in 2018. The state elections board refused to certify it. Now, remember Trump's closing argument about fear-mongering and voter fraud? Well, it turns out that the only significant incident was engineered by North Carolina Republican operatives, accused to, of offering to collect and then lose absentee ballots, mostly from voters who looked like this. When the names were picked, you want this guy or that guy, this gal or that guy, was that you picking them? <laughs> It was so bad that not only was a new election called, but they ran it all the way back to the primary. Now, Harris dropped out, citing his health, but he might as well have been citing embarrassment after his own son testified that he knew about potential fraud. So Republicans elevated this guy, State Senator Dan Bishop, a climate change denier who sponsored North Carolina's infamous bathroom bill that led to a boycott of the state. But Bishop's been calling McCready the radical, even saying that he really admires socialism, something PolitiFact called pants on fire. Now, polls show this race is too close to call, but Republicans should have an edge because they drew the map that way. And if you doubt redistricting is dirty, folks, take a look through the files of a recently deceased Republican operative who specialized in this stuff. The New Yorker published some of his internal maps used to rig elections in North Carolina. And this guy went so far as to split up a historically black college in North Carolina right down to the dorms just to dilute the black vote. His files indicate that voter ID was designed to depress the Democratic vote, particularly among young people and minorities. So yeah, today's special election matters in North Carolina. It's a test of the Trump re-election playbook, tarring all Democrats as radical socialists. It's also a test of whether Democratic enthusiasm can overcome gerrymandering in a crucial swing state. Make no mistake, Republicans should have the edge. But if Democrats carry McCready over the line, it could be a bad sign for Trump in 2020.